this is Toprak from Technomax. Today we are uh, together with our DPF 1995. I'm going to show you how you're going to do the operation with the machine and also the installation. But first of all, I would like to show you the first step. So, as you can see, there is two big bottles in the back side of the machine. There is water in this bot uh, bottle and the other one there is our Red Max. So, these two holes needs to be in the bottle. As you can see, we also showed it here. The blue one, the blue hose for the water, normal water. And the red one is for the chemical. As you can see over here, water solution. So basically, this operation is very easy. The main thing is, you can clean your particle without removing the exhaust. And we are the only company in the global market that's capable of doing this while exhaust is on the car. So you can do the operation on the car and 100% ash, oil, soot will come out. The red marks has to be in first. The water, always keep the wa water on the front because you know where you uh, change the water, I, didn't, I think each operation because you use more, more water. So there is a spot top of the machine that you have the, all the tools. When we open up here, we have our tools over here. So we start with our injection hose. So it will help you to inject the chemical and also the water to the, to the car. And also this is a measurement hose. And also we have heat resistant chrome connection road over here. So when you, you know, connect to the oxygen sensor, it would help you to do the operation easily. So also we got the fasteners here for different models. Over here. And also power units. You connect this to the battery, so you start the operation. So all we got as a chrome connection rods. So that's all the tools that which which will help you to do the operation. So you will receive a full package and you're good to go. So we are removing the oxygen sensor to connect to the device, as you can see. And as you know, for each car has you know different spot for the oxygen sensor, and this is pretty easy. It might be heat sensor, but I think uh, oxygen sensor would also do the work. So we have picked it up the suitable uh, connection fasteners, which is that one, and that is for different models, which will, which will help you to connect uh, to the different uh, cars through the oxygen sensor. And as you can see, it's over here. And the operation is about to start. So after, after we screw, screw this in, we need to screw that as well to do the operation easy. And as I said, you need to follow our instruction to do the operation correctly. If you do it correctly, you will receive 100% brilliant results. So once again, this does clean the ash, the soot, the oil, everything in the particle just like you do it in the big machine. We are connecting the power unit, the 12 volts. So we connect it over here. Make sure that it's screwed tight. And for the, for the measurement hose to see the back pressure, we need to connect it, this red one right over here. So we, we have connected these power cables, power units to the battery, as you can see. Now we are, we are good to go. We, we just need to start the machine. And all good, we did our connections. Uh, we connected to the battery, the power units. Now we turn on the machine. So the most important part is, uh, as you all, all, the, all the mechanics know that you need to check 
everything from the OBD before you start the operation because it's very important. You need to check the turbo injector and EGR. Just be sure that there is no multifaction on these things. And also make sure that there is no problem on the sensors because after the operation, your clients might be like, oh, you broke my sensor. Just, you know, to not cause uh, to any misunderstanding, uh, understanding, just make sure that everything is great on the OBD. Once you're sure that all good, you can start the operation. Uh, first of all, we need to connect that red hose because uh, we will see the back pressure from the device. You will see how loaded it is. So we need to connect it this here to see the back pressure. So now we see the back pressure from the device before cleaning. Uh, for example, the, when, when you, you, need to, you need to see the back pressure at the 2500 RPM. So it will show you the value of the particle. With this particle, this particle is clean. So when it's over 120, which means that you got problem with your particle and it will affect the car performance as well. And also over here, as you can see that over 500 millibar do not clean the vehicle, which means that that particle is dead. As I said again, from like uh, 2,500 RPM, see the back pressure and if it's over 120 which means that that car needs the operation but our car is clean up it's clean so we are just you know letting you know about this now we are done with the back pressure we saw we see all the value from the device and here we are going to remove the red hose and then going to connect the the uh, white hose for the for the injection so now uh, we are about to start the operation, liquids and water will go through here. You can follow up everything from the screen and machine does everything automatically. This machine helps you to do operation quickly, to receive more car, many car per day. So here, you know, the, our car is single exhaust, we start with it and it does liquid goes in and much as I said machine does everything automatically machine knows how many liter to be inject machine knows when to stop so this is one of a kind software that we have created of course of course chemical does clean the particle but this device helps you to do the operation quickly a very quick and machine does everything step by step first it has inject the liquid and the, we are at the second step which is a chemical will reacting in the particle and as i said machine will guide us and we don't need to do anything extra everything is you know automatically so at the third we will water will go in and then at the end when these you know all eventually will turn the green at the end of the operation it will tell us to push the gas pedal after we inject the water and then we need to push the gas pedal with a high rpm to take off all the dirt and everything now water goes in machine itself is at the third step and as you can see water go through and it will stop itself we don't need to do anything extra now operation is over at the last step car has told us to push the gas pedal once we push the gas pedal every dirt is out especially the ash and after we done here we need to drive the car around five to eight minutes with the high RPM. Just keep push the gas pedal while you're driving around within five to eight minutes. Now, machine is telling us to push the gas pedal to take off all the dirt. Once you finish the operation, you can also print out everything. We brought a Technomax company name, car plate number, vehicle miles. 
uh, before cleaning, after cleaning, cleaning rate, you can print it out. And also there is USB data port right over here, you can save it. Once you finish the operation, you need to drive the car around five to eight minutes, five to 10 minutes within high RPM. Just make sure that everything out from the car, from the exhaust. And also, once you come back, you do the regeneration from the OBD, update the car and see the current value. Also, you can see the uh, back pressure after you finish the operation. So you need to follow each step correctly. Once you do it correctly, once you follow up our instruction, your particle will be clean. And we know there is so many individuals and companies has claimed to you know, do this operation on the car, but everybody failed. As a Technomax, we have achieved, achieved this goal in last two years, last especially one and a half years, we have reached over 1,000 users in Turkey. And we want to take this technology to the global market. And hopefully it will be, it will be all around the world soon.